I, Maine just has a special sense of home to me, you know, and um, I don't know, I'm kind of asked to describe that a lot, but um, it, I think especially in the last seven years, like having gone through all the experiences I have and having had life change a lot, um, people here really treat you as they knew you before um, and kind of let you have more of a normal life. Mm -hmm. Maine has everything that I that I love and that I love to do and you know I think there's a sense of home when you grow up here and um, you know between the mountains between the coast with surfing you know all the different places to, to play golf in this state like I I love Maine as a place to recreate and you know the more I travel the world yeah there's bigger mountain ranges there's warmer climates there's different stuff but we have such a unique blend and I think when you grow up in Maine you know for me being in touch with the four seasons is a, I couldn't live somewhere where I didn't have four seasons, you know. I had three World Cup events that I didn't do out of a relatively small number. I think there was 11 total. And, uh, you know, I ended up 11th overall for the tour out of roughly 80 guys. So with skipping those events, I felt like, um, I felt like it was a successful year at the same time. Um, I, d I definitely had, you know, some frustrating moments, like I, you know, getting injured right before World Championships was definitely a disappointment, and um, and Sochi didn't go as well as I had hoped, but at the same time, um, there's learning processes in it all the time, and, you know, coming off an injury last year, I kind of knew I wasn't going to be strong for the whole season. I, I felt like it was good to get back to the point um, that I won right off at the beginning of the season, and and actually at this tail end of the season, I had some, some really good heats in those last two World Cup races in Switzerland, so... With the way that qualifying happens for us, um, that it's not just racing your own teammates, that you've still got to, we're racing against everyone else in the world, um, that throws a lot of other variables into it. Um, you know, it would be a lot easier to have four races over four weeks like track and field does mm -hmm. where you were just racing against your own countrymen. Um, but, um, you know, that being said, we'll have four or five days to go out there and to prove that you're one of those four best guys and, and I, I like those odds, so. <laughs>